Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and let's have this topic. So, finding the variance and standard deviation of a random variable. So, we have this given random variable, and we're going to use a table form to find the variance and the standard deviation. So, for this column, this one is x times the p of x. So, we just need to multiply these two columns. So, we have 2 times 0 0.6, that's 1.2, and 4 times 0 0.1, that's 0 0.4, 6 times 0 0.2, that's 1.2, and 8 times 0 0.1, that's 0 0.8. Then, to find the summation of x times the p of x, so we just need to add all these numbers so we have 1.2 then plus 0 0.4 plus 1.2 plus 0 0.8 equal so that's 3.6 so the summation of x times the p of x is 3.6 then for this column that's x to the power 2 so we just need to take the square of x so the square of 2, that's 4. The square of 4, this one is 16. The square of 6, that's 36. And the square of 8, that's 64. Then for this column, that's x to the power 2 times the p of x. So we just need to multiply this p of x and x to the power 2. So this 0 0.6 times 4 so 0 0.6 times 4 that's 2.4 then for this 0 0.1 times 16 this one is 1.6 0 0.2 times 36 so 0 0.2 times 36 that's 7.2 then this 0 0.1 times 64, that's 6.4. Then to find the summation of x to the power 2 times the p of x, so we just need to add all these numbers. So we have this 2.4 plus 1.6 plus 7.2 plus 6.4 equal so the summation of x squared times the p of x is 17.6 so to find now the variance using this formula then substitute now the values so for the summation of x squared times the p of x that's 17.6 then minus the square of the summation of x p of x so the square of this 3.6 so to find the variance so we have this 17.6 then minus this 3.6 squared equal so the variance is 4.64 so this is now the variance and for the standard deviation so just the square root of the variance since the variance is 4.64, so the square root of this 4.64. So to find the standard deviation, so we have the square root of 4.64 equals, so the standard deviation is 2.1541. So this is now the standard deviation. Then for this problem, so again, we need to solve for this one in a table form. But first, we need to convert this percent to decimal. So 40% in decimal, this one is 0 0.40, 0 0.25, 0 0.15, and 0 0.20. So in a table, then for this column, that's x times the p of x. So multiply this x times the p of x, so we have 1 times 0.40, so that's 0 0.40, then 3 
times 0.25. So 3 times 0.25 equals to the 0 0.75. Then 4 times 0.15. So, 4 times 0.15 equals, so that's 0 0.6, and this 7 times 0.2, this one is 1.4. Then, to find the summation of x times the p of x, so we need to add all these numbers. So, we have 0.40 plus 0.75 plus 0.6 plus 1.4. Equals so that's 3.15. So the summation of x times the p of x is 3.15. Then for this column, that's x to the power 2. So we just need to take the square of x. So the square of 1, that's 1. The square of 3, that's 9. The square of 4, this one is 16. And the square of 7, that's 49. And for this column, so that's x squared times the p of x. So we need to multiply these two columns, the p of x times x squared. So this 0 0.40 times 1, that's 0 0.40. 0 0.25 times 9. So 0 0.25 times 9, that's 2.25. 0 0.15 times 16, so 0 0.15 times 16, that's 2.4. And this 0 0.20 times 49, so 0 0.20 times 49, that's 9.8. Then to find the summation of x times the p of x, so just add all these numbers. So we have 0 0.40 plus 2.25 plus 2.4 plus 9.8 equals to that's 14.85. Then to find now the variance, so from this formula, then substitute now the values. So the summation of x squared times the p of x, so summation of x squared times the p of x, that's 14.85. Then minus, so the square of x times the p of x, so the square of this 3.15. So to solve now for the variance, so we have 14.85 minus 3.15 squared equals, so the variance is 4.9275. So this is now the variance. And to solve for the standard deviation, so standard deviation is the square root of the variance. Since the variance is 4.9275, so that's the square root of 4.9275. So to solve now for the standard deviation, so we have the square root of 4.9275 equals, so the standard deviation is 2.2198. So 2.2198, so this one is the standard division.